Todoist, Microsoft To Do, and Tick Tick. It's not what you think. First and foremost, if you think I just have an extreme bias to Todoist because I made a course on it, you might be partially right because I would like you to check out my Skillshare course on Todoist. However, there will be no bias in this review. So what's the difference between these three people? Well, they're not people, they're apps. Well, they're people to me. First things first, the best priced one out of this by far is going to be Microsoft To Do because, drum roll please, it is free. However, if you are a Mac user, you can't really use it, so... Oh no, oh no, feels bad. Yeah, really sad. Really sad time for you, really upset. But what is really good about Microsoft To Do is the fact that it integrates great with your Outlook workflow. I actually have a video on how that works, but if you go into Outlook, you can actually see that there, you can see that there's actually a fair amount of quality connections between these. So right here, there's this whole Microsoft To Do click button and you can like actually go into it. But what I recommend you do is you integrate it fully with your system by having the to-do over here. And then right-clicking on this, you can do create task, which is extremely easy to do. And then when you get into the application, you'll see a software that is actually very well organized. It has a list functionality, recurring task functionality. You can attach images and files. And there's even in my day an important section so that you can categorize things accordingly. The assign to functionality works really well when you do work with teams and this even syncs with Microsoft Planner, which isn't my favorite project management tool ever, but does get the job done. So if you're a Microsoft ecosystem person, this is an application that does not get nearly enough love. The mobile app on it is actually one of the best mobile apps that I've used for a task management app before. And that's coming from a guy who obviously uses Notion, so he doesn't think <laughs> that's very good. But Todoist is probably my favorite option for mobile and is also my favorite happy medium for people who are more business oriented, but also could use it for personal. What I really like about Todoist is that it is implemented with so many other applications like Microsoft isn't, uh, because unfortunately there just is like a specific ecosystem associated to Microsoft. And Todoist can connect with Google Calendar, which is much better than Outlook, Gmail. It has a wonderful mobile widget and mobile app in general. And it works really functionally and has probably the best quick capture I've ever seen. Being able to go into the application itself is solid and you can work with really nice views of either a list or a board, which Microsoft To Do does not have. You can make filters and labels groupings, which are really convenient. And you can even integrate this with ChatGPT, which is uh, pretty insane. Like for example, I have a habit tracker integration that's really nice, but this example uh, task of make tacos for dinner is cool and all, but what I can do with it is I can take it, AI assistant, give tips for completing the task, and it will just attach this to the description or add it as a comment more rather. And then on top of that, what I could do is I could break down the tasks into more actionable subtasks via this. So I could add subtasks here. And this is just so ridiculous that it can't not be mentioned as one of the best task management apps right now because of the fact that it can just expand upon tasks that you write down and help you out while also having these subtasks actually get into the application's core functionality. Labeling on here is great. Reminders on here are great. Overall, awesome application. It also connects with Morgan, which is my favorite calendar app as well. The pricing on this one is $4 for the pro version and six for business. Whereas for TickTick, you get a lot of this stuff for free, just like you do with the free versions of Todoist and Microsoft To-Do, but what you get on top of it is actually pretty crazy. So the, yes, the best premium option here from a pricing standpoint is this 28 bucks a year or less than $2.4 a month where there's this sort of calendar sync, more customized filters, and a lot of what you can do in Todoist on the premium version as well. However, with TickTick, you have built-in functionality for habits without needing to have extensions, with Pomodoro timers, with Eisenhower matrices. I mean, this is a very interesting setup that you can sort of make in Todoist, but not really. You can sort of do in Microsoft To Do, actually not really. And the habit tracker is completely different from the rest of the application, which is great. The calendar view is something that it does have on the other applications. However, Todoist integrates with a lot of third-party calendar apps and also has a Google Calendar sync that's really nice. But overall, the core functionality of all this is very similar. You can do 
very similar recurring tasks, very similar tags, but it just has that one extra layer of the calendar and has a really good mobile app, has a great audio capture feeble feature on the mobile app. If you're really looking for a quick capture on the go, this might be the best one from a audio standpoint. And you also can set a keybind to something like this, Control Alt P, and you'll have a Pomodoro timer right built into your task management app. So this does work extremely well on mobile as well. So if you're working, you can use this. Uh, it can have a ding associated to it, or it could be a stopwatch rather than a Pomodoro timer. With the premium app, you also get a bunch of different noises, like a bunch of white noise, morning sounds, summer sounds, forest, which is a very nice addition to an application like this. Setting goals and being able to change this Pomodoro timer is definitely a plus when you're working in a task management software so often. You can change the theme on this just like the other ones and even change the opacity of the habit tracker as well, which is pretty cool. Tick tick for personal use in Pomodoro timers, Microsoft To-Do for business if you are in that Microsoft ecosystem, and Todoist if you're anybody else, or if you want that sweet, sweet AI in your workflow. If you want more tips and tricks like this on how to improve your productivity and more, then you're gonna wanna check out this one right here that will definitely help you improve your productivity right now.